All right, everyone, thanks for joining us for another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, 1627 Cole Street, Edenclaw, Washington, 98022. Come say hi. I think the first Friday of every month, starting, you know, this summer time is cruise. So come on down for the cruise, grab some brews, and hang out. Uh, Bordeaux Wine Bar as well, right around the corner. Go say hi to them. Uh, they've got a great outdoor uh, spot now. Uh, they took the tents away, so nothing's going to blow away, and they've got it right about outside the fountain. Very cool area. Inside, I think, is air-conditioned as well. Uh, Mazatlan, I just sat with Andy the other day. We were sitting there watching some hockey and uh, eating some chips and uh, hanging out, talking. So good dude there. We'll do some Full Buddy Fridays coming up. I've had T-Ball, so uh, stay tuned to the Facebook page and the podcast and everything else. So... Anyway, we got Garage Night, Garage Night, with Craig Bentley on the mic. Hello, 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 hello. And hello. Corey Bentley on the mic. Hey guys, how's the Wii U in today? Uh, Craig, you're awesome. That was a good, yeah, good intro. Yeah. Thank, Corey, thank you, Corey. I appreciate yeah. that. Corey, did you think that, that Craig's intro was, was pretty good this time? Yeah, I was kind of impressed today. Ah. Yeah, thank you, Corey, very much. Hey, Craig, Craig, you don't have to make your voice deeper. Oh, <laughs> is that how that works? Your voice could just stay the same. <laughs> oh. um, it is surprisingly how much louder you are uh, than than Corey in the in the microphone over there. Like I, I know have... I sound louder, and we're farther away. I don't know if I like sitting here. I like. I think you're. And then grab a beer from the fridge if you want. Okay. If you're I'm, in... I'm actually closer too. Also, that's gonna feel good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, probably, uh, roll through this one pretty good. It's right before Memorial Day. And, uh, so do you have any Memorial Day plans? Uh, right. no, no, we were, we were supposed to have a tournament and that kind of got canceled. So not a whole lot going on. Might just do some stuff around the house. It's supposed to be nice. So, you know, probably take a dip in the pool, have a good weekend. Uh, in the pool. Yes. So, who, so I hung out. At a friend, I have a couple friends that I can't name on the podcast too. Okay, I don't know if you knew that. Sounds but, good. But uh, I hung out with like your uncle or Carrie's uncle. Maybe it's Carrie's uncle. Yeah. And, and Bradley was there, or is his name Bradley? His son was Bradley. Brad is his nephew. Brad. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we were we hung hung out by the fire. Turned out, I learned something new. I thought you stole that thing off the market. Like you were you were. Uh, Hunting around that that's that house that you're living in has been in your your family or someone. Yeah, it was, side? it was Carrie's. Uh, would be her ex brother in law. Gotcha. And so uh, there they. Uh, so so was that was that your first time swimming in the pool when you bought it? Or yes, had... I never was over there swimming. I'm I'm not sure if Carrie did. She might have. Uh, I know we helped them move in back when they actually bought the place. Um. But yeah, no, my first time was when I actually owned it. Oh my goodness! Uh, sorry, I got a bet going on right now that's going nuts. So, uh, <laughs> so that, that was your first. Time. Okay, sorry. Yes, sir. Sorry, sorry I got distracted there. Um, so, so you've been to the pool how many times in this nice and warm and hot and sunny uh, day? Not as much as you'd think. A uh, handful, maybe. What? It's, it's in the seventies. Yeah, I knew you were going to ask what temperature was. That's what you were going to say, right? Yeah. Is, is, are people showing up and, like, neighbor kids ever knock on your door like, hey, hey, no, hey Mr. Bentley, can I don't, you play in your pool? I don't let anybody know that I have a pool. Never Except- Invite only. <laughs> <laughs> You've never had any kids, like? No. Because uh, the only kids that have ever been in the pool were been my daughter's friends. And they're, they're older than all the other kids in the neighborhood. It's not like we have an, a lot of people in our neighborhood that are the same age. So, like, you don't. Now this is making more sense on why you also killed the front, the front area, the, the grass of your front yard, because you want to make everyone look like, make it look like you don't have any sort of like irrigation system at all. True, but I do kill the back also, but nobody sees it. Yeah, nobody sees that either. But still, <laughs> it's the preemptive strike. I think I'm gonna go. I, I think I'm gonna do what you do. I think I'm. I've almost determined I want to save money on my water bill this this summer, and since summer already. It started off pretty early. Grass is already starting to fade, and I'm like, do I really want to? Yeah, I I just cut it super short, so hopefully this weather burns it already. Yeah, like faster than normal. Just... If it could be burned in May instead of like middle of July, I'd be stoked. <laughs> just a good summer. <laughs> just a great summer for you. 
you're buying the farmer's almanac just to see at what point do you think you can kill your your grass in the summer? That's awesome. Um, so uh, I uh, I got this bet. So let me tell you this bet real quick, okay? I got uh, I I went by ERA yesterday. It's an eight leg MLB parlay, and I went off of every matchup who had the lower in the. You know, they're pretty well matched. Even if they have a higher ERA, they could have like a six point one ERA. They're playing. They're playing against someone who's like got a six point eight. You know, so just it's not like it's you're going against someone with a two and a six. So, um, so far I'm doing well on it. It's a five dollar bet to win four hundred and thirty dollars. Nice. So I've been I've been focused on that. I've been doing. I've been crushing my bets with uh, hockey. I don't think I've lost a hockey bet except. Except for one, um, with the uh, with the Kraken playing playing the Dallas Stars, but then I took Vegas this entire time. I've been cr- I, I bet against the Lakers every game, and they got swept. That was awesome, and and so life is going well for me in the old in the old bet. In fact, I even bet Kyle Larson. I was like, you know, I'm bet NASCAR. Pick three drivers. Kyle Larson. He won. I'm just well, doing well. There you go. I don't know what I don't. I, I'm on a hot streak right now. That's that's what it's called. And then you know what happens after hot streak? Cool yeah. streak. I, I got to stop going to the casino for the slot machines. That's the thing. I'll win the money on the, my bets and I'll reinvest. And then the over, I just take and disperse in slot machines. And, 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 then, you're, and then you're just even. Then I'm even. Exactly. Huh. And I'm could, screaming at my TV the next could day. Could be worse. Like, yeah. So we were actually doing a... Uh, I got a story for you. Shout out Holly Graff. Holly Graff... Uh, was a uh, or is a Patreon been one for a while? We've been friends for a few years, strictly because of being online. Then we've met in person and hung out. She's cool. She does. Uh, she sells uh, Scout and Cellar wines. They actually got coffee too. She drops them off for us to try. It's been great so far. But we usually order our wines uh, unless like uh, Thomas Savageo and and uh, and. Uh, Kim and John Elias are like, hey, we got a bunch of Tuesdays over at the wine bar because Jamie loves Tuesdays as well. So that's where we kind of go get our wines. Shout out National Wine Day today as well. Oh, is that what it is? I wouldn't know that. I didn't know that either. You know, I'm a, I'm a guy. <laughs> but well, I don't know that because I don't really drink, drink wine. wine. Or, I, or I, ha- I haven't found a good right wine, wine. wine. Yeah, see, I was the same way. And then Jamie kind of, uh, you know, with the Chardonnays. And I'm like, the Chardonnay is great. I'm, I'm, actually, you know who it was? It wasn't even Jamie. It was John Elias, and he was sitting in that chair that you were at. And we 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 last year we did a he he changed it up at the summer uh, what are, not a thread the summer flight maybe that's what it is. But he has all the, they change it up every summer and fall, so you don't get the same wines. And they change up the type of the three wines. It sounds like infomercial. I I just I actually to go along with these. I just learned that I didn't even know that wine did flights. Yeah, but when we were at Bordeaux. Uh, you know, me and Carrie got a beer, and the people we were with, Garrett and them, yeah, they both got wine, and Garrett got a a a, a flight, and I'm like, I, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, you get three of them. Yeah. sit there, and I got my mom one for for her birthday, and she I, she I don't think she knew about that either, and she's like, this is a lot of wine. We're <laughs> we're gonna crush these three <laughs> bottles right now. <laughs> but Holly, uh, shout out to her. So she. She sells it, you know. It's her, it's 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 her side gig, you know. It's it's, she, it's something she's passionate about. She earns money on. I respect her on it. Um, and she's like me. She's very sarcastic. And there's a point where uh, we were like, uh, you know, she'd post a couple years ago. She was posting because she got to go to like these conventions for Scout and Seller. And she would like, oh, rough life by the pool, rough. Life. But she's selling it, right? She's selling the wines and. And I made a sarcastic comment that uh, she later talked to me about that like, she didn't really appreciate, which is that's what you know. Sometimes you rub friends the wrong way. Sometimes you rub sometimes you rub enemies the wrong way too, Craig. I don't know if you knew that. I don't. I'd never rub anybody the wrong way. Ever. Everybody likes what, Loves I, ha- you. what I have to say. You are. You're like baby back ribs. <laughs> you're rub- you're, like you're, the you're Mc- rubbing's good. Like the Mick rib. <laughs> So she's like, hey, you know, like I do do this seriously, and yeah. Because I said, oh, but my comment was, uh, you're welcome for paying for your vacation because you know we were buying wines, but everyone was buying wines off of her, and so she got a little, you know, she gets a kickback for that, and it was just kind of like, 
it was a rude thing to say. I'm a rude guy. And, and uh, anyway, she, she like, hey, man, I really didn't appreciate that. But here's the thing. Okay. There's a moral to the story. So Jamie has been door dashing for like a year. And we've recently, I'm like, I've caught the bug, the door dashing bug. Like, so, like to do it? Yes. Oh. So I drive while Jamie hops out, grabs the stuff, hops in. Some nights there's nothing. Some nights it's busy. But all of that money actually goes into our vacation fund. So we so you know, Vegas. Yes. <laughs> Let's just call it a Vegas fund. <laughs> it's a great call, actually. Very smart. <laughs> Very good call. And so we've already paid for our plane tickets with it. We've already paid for whatever. So uh, people that DoorDash and you see us, because it'll say her name, uh, Jamie K is your delivery driver. Uh you can always comment on any of my posts in Vegas that said, you know, you're welcome for paying for your vacation because you did. You literally are paying for our vacation. <laughs> so, so thank you. Have you, have you door, not delivered, but do you, ever, do you ever door dash? I, I did one time. And what was funny about it is it was just one time we were just being super lazy. I don't even remember what it was. And, uh, we got teriyaki and all of a sudden I, I make the order and then afterward, because you gotta remember, this was the first time I ever did it. And afterward, it says, "Would you like to get like uh, a pop and a candy bar or something?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's weird." I go, "Ah, as a matter of fact, I would." <laughs> so I'm like, "Yeah, I'll take a pop." And then I ask Carrie, "We got a candy bar?" And I'm like, "Oh, that's cool. Hit it." And I'm like, "I don't understand how this works." Well, the person goes to get your food, yes, and then has to go to another place yes. to get, <laughs> yes. and then bring it. I'm like, "That's amazing." <laughs> Yeah, there'll be times where Jamie's like, okay, we got an order. I'm like, what? And they're like, she's like, okay, we got to go to the Jersey Mike's and grab a sandwich. And then we go over to 7 Eleven and grab a Butterfinger. And then we got to go get a, a icy juicy over at the Enumclaw High School. No, it's not that. But, but yeah, so you drive all over for someone and then deliver it. The thing is, is like, people sometimes just don't tip. It's crazy that there's no See, tippers out there. I don't, uh, I mean, I, I probably don't tip like high end. But I could never not tip somebody. Yeah. Yeah, they'll tell you. There's one that was like, hey, drive $3.70, for $3.75, and it'll say nine, like how many miles? And this one was pick up Taco Bell and go nine miles. So that's probably Black Diamond. You're going to go wait for that Taco Bell order and then drive 20 minutes out to Black Diamond, drop off someone's order, and drive back for another 20 minutes for... Three dollars and seventy five cents. You kidding me? So not every, it's not like you're just making a million bucks, but uh, it is definitely uh, some some are good and some are some are bad. Gotcha. But uh, you know, there's other ones. There's um, this is my last one about it. You can you shop for people too, like like Safeway eighteen items, and then you go and then like go pick up that item, take a picture of it, put it in your cart, and then. Go up front, and so you're just running around you're like you're a professional shopper, and that that, that may pay a you know nine dollars to to do that. So huh. it's like you know it's crazy, it's nuts. So yeah, so if you guys do it, you guys might get us, and then tip, and then after you tip, leave a comment that says uh, you're welcome for paying for your vacations, and then we'll know it's we'll know it's you. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, it's uh. It's been a week though. It's been hot. It's been warm. Has been. Have are, you come back to work after we took that week off? Are you? How was the golf trip? The golf trip was amazing. Were you surprised I didn't show up? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I did not anticipate that. How did you play? Were you? Are you turning into one of being one of the top golfers since you're now a professional go- golfer now? No. But I'm not horrible compared to what I've seen. <laughs> how big's the group? time uh, like like so uh this, just, just this time we had we were supposed to have eight it ended up being seven so we had to back out oh okay well, um, thanks thanks i could have probably even that one out yeah, you probably could have but <laughs> no no reason for that <laughs> but uh we're hoping to maybe get 12 next year yeah okay uh, nice 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 yeah Open so invite. we got four more that are already waiting interesting um, so am i part of, am i part of that four <laughs> no no not at all <laughs> hey, i'll tell you we get it to 16 you might have a chance i might have a chance there you go <laughs> No, but uh, uh, no, it was fun. And what, it was, what was fun about it was we played 
as a seven person the entire week we were there. Oh, so, oh, so you were all seventeen off at every hole. Yes. Were people behind you at all? So there was a couple. So first of all, we were over there, and it was way warmer. Sun Lakes. Sun Lakes. Yep. It was way warmer than it normally is this time of year. So when we got there, which we got there on Monday, which is right after Mother's Day, it was still pretty busy compared. People were still leaving, but it was Monday. And normally Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's dead while we're over there. And then Thursday, people start coming, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it was fairly busy the entire time we were there because the temperature was in the mid-80s compared to being... In the mid sixties or seventies, last time where you guys got rained on it, there was a couple yeah. times. So that did bring out more people. So there was more people on the course compared to normal. But you know, we we were playing with a scramble a lot of times. We're betting money and yeah. playing for scramble, so we're not going as slow as seven people playing would. So for the most part, we stayed ahead of people, and if there was a one or a twosome, we just let them play through. I mean, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, no, no worries. We're, we got nowhere to go. Right. <laughs> it's not like we have to be somewhere well, at a certain point in time. Does, does any of your group, like, because Sun Lakes, you can fish, you can hike, you ride bikes. Like, are We you, went out on paddle boats, if you guys, that counts. You guys <laughs> did do that. Did, now, now, did uh, no fishermen or anything like that? Not for, not for this trip. There's people that do all that stuff, but this trip is specifically... Hanging yeah, out, just golfing. Drink. We did a four rounds of a uh, master putt putt tournament. <laughs> okay, um, you know paddle boats, yeah, that yeah. kind of that kind of stuff. That's what this is set up for. Have you? Do you guys then get the yard games out? Because there's plenty of park grass. Yeah. you know all that. And yep, uh, we don't bring. It, it was a pain to bring cornhole boards all the time. Uh, but you know you got ladder toss. We do a lot of chipping games. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Like chipping. We actually play. Um, God, what's the uh, – I can't think right now. The game that you throw the white ball and then you uh, – bocce. Bocce ball. We play bocce ball, but, but we use – you actually have to use a chip, a putter. Or wow. not a putter, but a pitching wedge. Yeah, yeah. And actually play bocce with pitching wedges. That sounds fun. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you think that uh, – war- like, would you guys do a fall trip to, to Warden, Washington, go to Sage Hills? Would you think anyone would want to switch gears and, and do that? Or do they like the whole setup, have a cabin and all that? So, I think the idea of what we do – wouldn't get changed, but adding something to it, like going on another trip where we know it's going to be more normal golf. I mean, we still do a uh, scramble or, or bet money, all that kind of stuff, but we're not going to have seven people playing yeah, yeah, at, a, true, at a normal true. course, a normal good course like that. Right. True, yeah. Um, I, I don't see why people wouldn't want to do that. I really want to make a trip out there. It's just, it's just finding the time to do it. Would you do a one day or I know that you've got, you're usually busy, but would you ever like, if you had a free Saturday, I, I would think about me, if it was – I w- yes, to answer your question, I would think about doing it on a Saturday. I would also think about doing it if I had a Saturday, Sunday, to, like, go over there, do a Saturday, stay one night, play Sunday, then come home. Like, make it so it's a couple times. Yeah, that's true, too. Because when, we go, when we're over at Sun Lakes, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, we played, 20, we played 27 and 36 holes, and then – you know, you, you're not going to be able to do that at the, at a right. course like we're going to. We're going to get your normal 18 in for fun, yeah. but you're not going to go play 36 for the most part if it's busy. Yeah. Right. So, for a trip like that, it'd be nice if you could at least get two rounds out of it. That's you know, at some point. But I would I would think about driving over in the morning, golfing, and driving back. I mean, it's only two and a half hours ish. Not, not, not bad. Plus. How about you? How did you How did you play? Are you top four yet of that group? Um. I would say the people that played, we're all pretty well rounded each other. So I'd say there's a couple people there I would expect. Well, Jaron didn't go this okay. year. He had he couldn't go because of work. Um, he's usually obviously the top person there. So okay. the rest of us are are fairly. Thou shalt that not be named. I he like uh, he, he would... wasn't uh, he wasn't uh, driving and hitting long stuff this year. It was mostly chipping and putting for him due to some uh, injuries. Gotcha. So, uh, but for the rest of us, yeah, I mean, fairly, fairly well even. I mean, there's there's guys that are a little bit better that play more. Yeah. I mean, like Corey, for instance, he'd sit here and tell you he's the worst one out there. Hey, wait, Corey, were you the worst one out there? Dude, you got at least have a comment. I don't think he's gonna have a comment this time. Really, Corey? Nothing at all. You, okay, well, Corey, you, does you play well or bad? 
You can't just shake your head. Oh, so he's taking a vow of silence? He played that bad that he's just... He's, he's, a, he's a monk now? But, but he would sit in here and tell you he's the worst golfer out there, right? He doesn't golf a lot. Right. The kid has a good swing and hits the ball a mile, but he doesn't like do playing on his own. He wants to play in scrambles or something uh, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he goes and plays on his own, in his mind, he doesn't care, so he sucks. But in a scramble... It equals the playing field for everybody. He's trying to. He can. He has an opportunity to possibly win this. Yeah. And and pr- contribute a couple shots. Yeah. And he got a couple long drives. I mean, we got we do pay out for long drives. KPs just like you would on a normal course. Oh, okay. We had a whole bunch of other games. We're playing. We're betting money. We're sounds doing like all- a pretty. Sounds like a pretty fun uh, fun time. Yeah. It it was. So. <laughs> the I, I will tell you this. I I wish he was here, or I wish that. We could wait to tell this story, but I need to tell it. One of the best bets that happened the entire week. Thursday night, we're done golfing. Okay, the major golfing. We're sitting back at camp. I think we're getting ready to go play putt-putt or something. And there is a water bottle that's sitting out in the grass probably 50 feet away from us where we're sitting, right, by whatever. And nobody's up chipping. Nobody's doing something. And... I will tell who it is after. Or it, this person okay. bets thou shall not be named that he can't chip and hit that water bottle, right? Really? And thou shall not be named says any club or whatever. Like does it, he goes? Yeah, any club. So he walks into the cabin and gra- and it happens to be my cabin that was closest, and he comes out with my three wood, and we're talking fifty yards to chip, right? And he gets out there, and there's talk back and forth. You is, know. Wait, wait. Is there multiple tries? No. Just a one-shot one deal. Is there odds? Like, okay, keep, sorry. I'm interrupting. Okay, keep going. so the person that made the bet said, I will give you what is it, whatever's in my wallet if you can hit that. Right? He, he, the, Thou shalt not be named goes and grabs this. There's John back and forth like you would. Yeah. You guys are out. He winds up and freaking hits a laser that drills, I mean, it literally drills the center of this water bottle, <laughs> sends it flying 20, 50 more yards. I mean, this ball would have been oh. out in the lake if it wouldn't have hit the water bottle, right? So this person that I will now say is Seth Loop oh, is sitting there. Stunned. Stunned. And, he, and he, the comment that I remember was, I don't even know what I have in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> so it was $106. Oh my gosh. And he did it. He, 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 he and was, he a, paid he was it. a man of his word. Oh, 100%. If anybody, I mean, if I would have said that, I would have been so pissed. I would have yeah. made a complaint instantly. Boom. Well, made the bet. Had a this smile. Is way to, Here you go. You yeah, did it. Exactly. Wow. I mean, it was, it was, it was once in a million shot. There's no way he does that again. So, uh, yeah, it was it was crazy. That's uh, that's awesome. I'm ha- I'm proud of that guy. I'm happy for that guy. Um, speaking of, there's a few people from your group, and, and shout out to Seth Loop, man. What a good dude. Oh, hundred percent. Miss him. I miss him. I haven't seen him in a. We bit. We gotta get we've, him on here again. We've been texting. We need to have him on. I, we've been texting. Uh, just, it's funny because it's, it's the weirdest things that remind me of Seth. And I text him that it's, 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 uh, where he was, uh, helping me weed eat over at Tim Noah's spot. And I was weed eating for like two hours at my, at my house here, clearing stuff out and the back, back, uh, gravel area and stuff like that. And, uh, back driveway anyway, or what am I trying to say? Back alley. Anyway, uh, I just was thinking about Seth when I was doing that. Were, he, were you thinking about him, or were you going to call him and see if he'd do it for you? No, uh, no, I was. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, pay, I'll give you all the money in my wallet. <laughs> that's, what I'll, that's how I'll start it. But uh, there was there was that. There was something else that that I I I think I was golfing. I was uh, anyway. It was something I can't remember. But there's some things that that will just remind me of Seth, and it's so funny because I didn't know Seth until. You actually, it wasn't until the podcast, and then that's how Seth started listening, and and then he, you know, he's just been on board and fun ever since. And so, anyway, shout out Seth, thank you for all your support and your love and, and everything. And I texted him, I said, "Man, I'm thinking of you right now." And he's like, uh, "You know," I said, "How's how, how you doing?" And he goes, "Good." 
turkey hunting. And I'm like, well, now I'm going to eat turkey. And I want to now. He got of, one. I want to think of him. He oh, he the, did. He, did he send you the pigs? No, no. Oh. He got it, though. He did. He got pretty one. nice one. Yeah. Did he? Did From he get, what I know, I mean, I don't, I haven't turkey hunted, but it looked like a nice one. Looked big. Did he get a three wood out and just drill it right <laughs> in the center of it? <laughs> he actually, the, the joke was because that was our last night there. We were all leaving on Friday. He was getting picked up to go with another group of people to go do the turkey hunting. Okay. And uh, the joke was that he didn't have any money left to go do anything <laughs> for the next three days <laughs> because <laughs> because of it. That's funny. Yeah, that 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 would check out too. Um, well, that's cool. Are you gonna do? Uh, by the way, everyone, you're invited to trivia night. Uh, it's Wednesday, the thirty first. Uh, at Cole Street Brewery, 1627 Cole Street, Enumclaw, Washington. Starts at 6.30. We'll show up at 6.30, get a beer. 7, we'll kick off. Are you going to be there this week defending the crown? Uh, I should be. All right. Are you recruiting? Are you bringing your, bringing your, your whole – I just need to know if I, how much I need to go to the board game shop and possibly bump well, up my – You'll have to get the, uh, the, the game vault for sure. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, yeah. The game vault. I have to go to the game vault. <laughs> I mean, that's that's and, I, and I actually kind of – like there was a, he, 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 the the person that showed up that that won, uh, he was a, he looked a little disappointed that it went from a twenty five dollar gift card to a twenty dollar gift card. Oh, I didn't even know. And and, and so he's like, uh, I was kind of hoping to get a full fifty. I'm gonna have to come back now <laughs> <laughs> for to get to get the next one. I'm like, there we go. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing. But I may have to bump it back up. But uh, anyway, uh, so you're gonna be back. That is the plan. That's the yes. plan. Uh, are you so? There's been two times, past two times. In fact, the last one, their name was like not, not Craig or Craig sucks yes. or something like that. Yes. Did you invite them to go against them? We may have already talked about this, but I've forgotten. Or did they show up and know, like, and, and they were like we're gonna beat Craig? Craig. So they showed up the first time, but late. Okay. And they were. Uh, a little upset that we won the only ones that they were there to play. Oh. And the idea was because I'm on the podcast that I somehow knew the answers. questions yeah, or something okay. like, and I just, you know, dismissed it, dismissed it. Yeah. And then I invited them or challenged them to come back. And then what they did is they've got other people that knew me also that are <laughs> frequent patrons of, <laughs> of Cole street to make a team together to try to beat us. And they didn't. And they didn't. They didn't even get – I mean, they kind of got close. They got close one mid, time. Yeah, yeah, one time. Mid- and it, it was a, a Celtics basketball question that separated us. <laughs> uh, I th- but you guys have your quarter. You guys have picked out your, your table. Well, yeah, I mean, when things are good, you don't want to change you it. You don't want to change it up. I mean, it wouldn't matter where we sit, honestly. Are you changing your socks and underwear, or is it the same ones? Oh, I don't matter. It's all it's all in the brain. <laughs> no matter what you wear. <laughs> can't help. I can't help. I have so much useless information. Tons and, of it. And thou shall not be named has way more than I do. <laughs> uh, I bet you're right on that one. <laughs> just just random facts yes. on everything. Why uh, isn't isn't he isn't he big? Uh, was it Family Guy? We no is. Or no, uh, Futurama. He's a big Futurama. Futurama, which has Rick ob- and Morty, obs- I mean, obscure all that. humor yeah. that he would get the most of. All right, we've got. Uh, let's see here, Jared Skelly, uh, Scary Skellies. One question. Let's do one question. Yeah. This time, spending a morning with donuts and old school Looney Tunes with my boys. What's one cartoon you've enjoyed or look forward to sharing with kids or just favorite old school cartoon? Examples, Looney Tunes, Scooby-Doo, Batman the Animated Series, old Disney cartoons when Donald was a real jerk to the chipmunks. I uh, I don't remember sharing a ton with the kids because cartoons weren't... I mean, yeah, the kids watched a lot of other stuff besides the cartoons. A lot of newer stuff when they were younger. Yeah. Um. I remember that stupid Caillou guy, the bald headed kid. Yes. That, my kids were, that was the age my kids were. Like, they watched like stuff like that. But um, my favorite cartoons that I tried to share were Tom and Jerry, mm-hmm. Woody Woodpecker, mm-hmm. and Darkwing Duck. Ooh. Those are my favorite. Look out. Yes. So, I, and you know, some of the, like Turtles, for instance, I tried to share that. I don't like the PC new Turtles. Yeah. Sorry, who's ever listening. Nobody PC knows. Turtles, 
with a- extra turtles, yeah. unacceptable. Yeah, lame. Yeah, lame. I, you know, for for me, I was it wasn't a cartoon, but they had cartoons on it. Pee Wee's Playhouse was a lot of fun, and my kids still enjoy Pee Wee's Playhouse. Uh, I've I've got two sets of kids, right? In a sense, where I've got a generation right now that's in high school and one head, one like just starting elementary age, and so a lot of they, a lot of their stuff, they've been like funneling into her from their childhood, like SpongeBob, um, not Caillou, but uh, what's the what, Airbender, the the last Airbender. A couple, you know, things that they've grown up with, and then they have her watching it. Blues which, Clues, which is fun. Blues Clues, I think that's be that's be. They didn't do that. They didn't get into Blues Clues as much. Um, uh, Sid the Science Kid. That was I like to sing that one just to make my son mad because he it just annoys him. I'm like, I'm Sid the Science Kid. Hey everyone, and he and he just it just bothers him. <laughs> I like, didn't even know that was a show. I'm gonna do that now to Sid. <laughs> Oh, My daughter said, <laughs> right. "I didn't even know that was a show." Sad to say, it's good. Uh, ooh, the one of the most uh, from from my kids' childhood. One of my one of the most um, like a song that gets stuck in your head easily. Other than this is the song that doesn't end. That was <laughs> ours, but it was the Backyardigans. <laughs> oh man, back. I don't know what that is. Um. Dragon Tales was good too. That one got stuck in stuck in my head. Uh, but no, so when I so I would say I tried to share them Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes is definitely not PC for for nowadays. Definitely not PC. Or Pinky and the Brain. Pinky and the Oh, I shared Animaniacs with them. Yes, I did. That's a great one. Yes, and they loved Animaniacs. That was uh, also not PC for today. Definitely not PC. <laughs> a lot of a lot of uh, undertones there. Um, hello, nurse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a good question, uh, Jared. S- tell us, send us uh, what you what you are sharing with your children. You didn't really specify that. It sounds like too much. Was there a TV show? See, Home Improvement. I've always loved. Oh, oh, by the way, shout out to the Batman animated series. That's a great, good, good call, Jared. That's a good one too. Um, but like, as was there a TV show that you're like, Hey kids, we should sit down and watch this. This would be fun for us. Um, not a whole, I meant my youngest Sid, she goes back and watches like friends. Uh huh. She's huge into that. She watched that over and over again, Mm -hmm. you know, stuff that is a little bit before their time. Um, they were big into wizards of Waverly place, which I actually enjoyed that show quite a bit. (laughs) So, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's not a whole lot of stuff that I watched that they would have enjoyed. I, I, yeah, TGIF. That was, I don't know. For us, I've been watching Cheers. They're watching Cheers. My son thinks it's hilarious. It was. What was the other thing that that we were watching? Like, I love this show. I think it might have been Home Home Improvement. I'm not sure though. Um, all right. Well, let's get into the uh, Veronica's Hot Topics. Veronica's Hot Topics. If you're a Patreon, by the way, shout out to Katri Hoban. Hoban? I, I got to learn how to say her name. But is she's that, is the, that a new Patreon? She's the newest Patreon. Wow. Yes. Yeah, so she's in. People leaving, people coming. People, Here we yeah, go. Yeah, I know. And then, by the way, I do want to apologize. The person that reached out or the person that... that uh, that is no longer a Patreon. I never said their name. They reached out to me and they said that they had to give an answer. He thought it would be funny to, to choose to select that, the, that he never got what he was in, what he thought he was supposed to get. So I'm like, dude, I'm sorry, man. And next time I see you, I'll buy you a beer. So come out to the trivia night. I'll buy you a beer. Uh, you know who you are. He still listens. Super cool dude. Uh, and I never had any, if you, I'm surprised people even – so there's no way I'm like, oh, gosh, like people are leaving. They're jerks. Like, no, people are actually throwing money at this thing that that Craig never sees. It's nuts. Yes. It's crazy. Well, I mean, except for trivia nights. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Now I know why. <laughs> You're like, if he's not going to pay me, he's going to pay me in <laughs> – Gift cards when I beat everyone at trivia nights. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, That's a great call. 
All right, so we got Veronica's Hot Topics. Veronica, uh, she is a Patreon, and she was like, hey, why don't you guys do girl topics ever? We're talking about sports and bets and all this. I want to I want to hear some girl stuff. So it's guys' opinions about girl things. Fingernails. Fingernails. Not, not whip, so we're talking about women's fingernails. Opinion on... Like the fake nails, what's your what do you like? Do you like like long, short, painted, no painted? Does it even matter to you, Craig? Uh, I would say it doesn't matter to me, except I have never been a long fingernail guy or a fake long fingernail guy. I've just never cared. Does Carrie has she ever done that? Oh, uh, she's did the you know some of the what I press on the or, Lee press on yeah, nails, something like that. Um, but she's she's not a Grow them out, you know, for however long it takes to grow nails super long type deal. Uh, I think she has normal uh, women nails, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> so, so, so does she do her own? Does she paint them? Does she keep them clear? She, like a clear she, gloss? Yeah, or? no, she, she paints them. Um, you know, she's not huge into going and getting nails done like some women do every six weeks, eight yeah, weeks, yeah. however however it is. She doesn't do that a lot. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've... There's some gals out there. They got. I think Veronica's actually one of them. Gets some long old fingernails. You know, like the little, the long fake ones that just click clack. Very painted up. Look like they're literally like five sets of the same car has parked on their hand. Like they're just massive, bejeweled, and just. And the thing that I've I've I got to know. I don't know. You heard this in middle school. It's the ring finger, right? Where. It, it, that one's a little different and then like oh it's because of cocaine because people do cocaine it's like a longer fingernail or it's a little more bejeweled bedazzled it's got a different maybe a, a different complete color to it than the rest of them you ever seen that before no i know you're always why would, why would it be your ring finger wouldn't it be either like your longest one or your pointer i, I think it's a, i think that's what i'm trying to figure out maybe we should google this real quick and find out which finger would you use to do cocaine yeah, what? <laughs> just ask Siri. <laughs> <laughs> Siri, which finger? Just kidding. Uh, why is the ring fingernail? Why is the ring finger nail? We're gonna learn something. Why is the ring finger nail painted different? It really started for women wanting to get noticed for rings on their fingers to accent the nail along with their rings. It's just trendy to paint your ring fingers a different color. It's another answer. Uh, why men paint the ring finger in different colors to express the status in relationships. So that's something maybe not in, maybe that's, uh, I don't know. Does that, that, make, that makes sense. Men do it themselves. Maybe that'll be a trivia question. I'll get it now. Yeah, and you know what? You can wow the guy who, or the man who not, shall not be named. He may not know this one. Probably not. <laughs> really? did, did, did you find out which one he used to do cocaine, though? Uh, I think that was it. They didn't say that. Oh, let me look up that one next. <laughs> yes. Or just, or I would just want to hear what Siri has to say, uh, okay. or whatever you have on your phone. Siri, <laughs> why? Do dang it. No, which it. finger? Just ask which finger. Which finger do you do cocaine on? It, it just gives me a uh drugs. You may have traces of cocaine or just snorting cocaine addiction center is the most popular way to take it, but are there risks and side effects? It's just it's all about to, now they probably think that I'm a drug <laughs> addict. If if somebody <laughs> knows which finger that you do cocaine on <laughs> Please let Trav know. Yeah, or, please. Yeah, or, absolutely. Or go ahead and just put it on the full body page yes, so, so let, everybody knows. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> let us know. Inquiring minds would like. 100%. Oh, also, uh, well, let's do shout outs. Let's do shout outs. Uh, are you, uh, you know, I've already shout, a shout out Seth Loop, Katri, a few others, but I'm going to shout out anyone who comes to June 17th, the Strawberry Festival in Enumclaw, Washington. It was, uh, I am going to be able to MC it, and it's going to be from one to like five. It's going to have a chili cook off. It's going to have a strawberry toss, a silent auction. Um, gosh, there's, there's other, there's one more thing I'm forgetting. Uh, but, uh, 
come on down, have fun. It's the day before Father's Day, so if you have any sort of like last minute gifts, there's going to be vendors there. You can uh, purchase a, maybe a gift from uh, from uh, from someone. My my brother should be there selling some paintings, uh, so and, or some prints. So if you have anything there that, that your dad may like, my my brother he really specializes in landscapes and like olden looking things as well, like an old house out in the woods or like uh, an old train car out in the woods or like. Uh, an old uh, rock bed with a river out in the woods. Uh, it's just he's very nailed down out in the woods. <laughs> the woods thing. So come on out. That's a shout out to you guys. June seventeenth, one to five. Hope to see you. Uh, and also doing the beer walk, which is the week before June tenth. Uh, I, I purchased the VIP tickets. I don't know what what that entitles, but I just saw VIP and I'm like, I'm going to do this thing. You should do it too, Craig. I'll be interested. He's May 10th or uh, June 10th? Yes. That's a bummer. And then I'm in Portland uh, the following weekend. Oh, dude. I thought it would be so fun to have you as a, as a co MC. I was really hoping that you'd be there. I would have got into it. I would have just went around and interviewed. Could, like, wireless mics. I just would have walked around and interviewed people. Just while they're peeing in the, at the stall in the, well, at the Rainier. You're like, hey, not. what do you think about the <laughs> Strawberry Festival here? Uh, who's your shout out? So I'm going to do a uh, sh- second shout out slash correction to oh, a shout out okay all okay? right so a couple episodes ago or maybe last episode i don't remember i gave a shout out to mad treats bake shop okay i all i in when i gave the shout out i said it was carrie's niece okay that is correct but maddie you are also my niece oh. she listened oh. she asked why i referred to her as carrie's niece oh. she is both of our nieces so i apologize Second thing is, is that I forgot to bring up that the cookies she makes are gourmet cookies. I brought that up. They're also gluten-free. Oh, okay. So a lot of people are like, gluten-free, garbage, right? I'll tell you this right now. I am the most want gluten in everything guy. Cookies are awesome. Really? And the thing is, they're not cheap cookies, right? If you're going to order them, you're going to do that. You're not paying $5 for cookies, okay. right? What she's going to do for us, and, and it, I'm, we're in the works of doing some other stuff, maybe for a, a listener uh, live, if we do yes. some lives coming okay. up. Okay, okay. I'm in the process. We're talking to her about getting some stuff done, uh, but I will bring this up also because she's uh, working on this for us. For Full Body listeners. Yes. She's going to get a promo code set up. What? On the website. Huh? That Breaking news. I don't even know this yet. You no, know, you didn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get a promo code set up. And maybe we'll post it on the full buddy thing. For sure. It'll be for uh, something off for – hopefully she gets it set up for Father's Day. She does a l- She's That's super cool. busy, but she does a lot of stuff for Father's Day. We're going to try to get the promo code set up. People want to use the promo code. Listen, use the promo code. It's going to be something off. I don't know what it'll be, um, but she's wanting to do that also. So just let me know. We'll try to get that thing set up, promo code, but Yeah. I just wanted to correct that. Go check it out. Good job. They're awesome cookies. Thank you. Thank you for correcting that. Yes. You are the man, the myth, the legend. I think you owe her a pool party. Um, well, I will tell you this. Going back to the very beginning, we're circling in the entire show. Yes. A call that, back. That is her dad <laughs> is Carrie's ex-brother-in-law. <laughs> It was her house. This is this is like the usual suspect, man. This I feel like you've been reading the wall and making up this story the entire time. So we just closed the whole episode That's in amazing. right there. That is a great. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna do that a yeah. round of applause. You know, listen, if even you, even Corey's applauding. If you say, Corey, he's speechless. <laughs> he's speechless. Oh man. Well, we miss him. Thank you for listening. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Um. Uh, yeah, send us your scary skelly. If you're a Patreon, give us a segment. Give us an idea. Give us something that you want us to talk about. We'll talk about it. We'll try it out. We'll we'll do that. In fact, we Sage Hills uh, Golf Course, we're going to try them out too. Uh, so let me uh, run through the Patreons real quick and because uh, we, I, I super do appreciate you. Um, all right, so active Patreons. We have Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Adam Kenny Art, Seth Loop, Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Sarver, Jared Skelly, Veronica Lara, Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts, Desi B, 
Jamie Kenny, Jackson Sidehook, Sasha Carey Lynn at Edison City Ale House in Tacoma, Washington. Go see them. S- Thomas Savage, who owns half of Enum Claw, Anthony- Councilman Anthony Wright, Sage Hills Golf and RV Resort in Warden, Washington. Go say hi. Real Estate uh, Tycoon, Cameron Stratton, and a name that I hope that I'm uh, pronouncing correctly, as well as a trivia uh, attendant as well, Katri Hoban, or Katri, Katri Hoban. It's got to be like Catherine Hoban, but it's Katri. That's what I'm guessing. Anyway, thank you guys for your support. We appreciate you guys. Love you guys. If you want to support too, go to patreon.com, search full buddy cast, all one word, and choose the tier that you want and reach out to me. Let's talk. Love you guys. Go my bet. <laughs> go. Do not. Craig, team trivia. <laughs> <laughs>